The information and tools you need to have a great Girl Scout cookie season are right at your fingertips with eBuddy's dynamic dashboard. When council members or troop volunteers first log into eBuddy, they see helpful charts and reminders about their sales totals and goals. Council leaders can customize the dynamic dashboard to show only the most important data and alerts for your council and troop volunteers. Your council can customize the dynamic dashboard to include elements that illustrate a custom timeline for your cookie season, chart order sales totals and other key cookie sales data, or track progress on important tasks that keep the cookie season moving forward. You can create custom dynamic dashboard views for both council members and troop volunteers with reports and tools specifically designed for their needs. Dashboard layouts can change during the cookie season to emphasize information that's most important now. Remember, to avoid confusion, only primary contacts for your council can customize your dynamic dashboard settings. Customizing the dynamic dashboard is as easy as picking a few dates from a calendar and drag and drop. To begin, click the Settings tab, then click the Edit Dashboards button to open the Dashboard Setup page. First, from the drop-down menu near the top of the screen, select the view of the dynamic dashboard, either Council or Troop, you wish to customize. In this video, we will edit the default Council view, but the process is identical for both. Immediately below this drop-down menu, you'll see the Timeline Setup section. Here, you'll pick start dates and other criteria that determine how the My Cookie Season Timeline element appears in the dynamic dashboard. You'll see a series of six gray boxes, each labeled as one of the common timeline steps of cookie season. Training, booth signups, initial order, booth sales, rewards, and financials. A seventh box is labeled Add Item. To edit the settings for a timeline step, click on its button to open the Time Item Settings pop-up window. If you desire, you can change the name of the item on the timeline display by editing its name in the Timeline Step text box. Click in the Date Time text box to open the Calendar Picker element. Select a start date from the calendar and use the hour and minute controls to set an exact start time. Note that if you want to launch a timeline step during the current eBuddy session, you can click the Now button to set the date time value to the current time. Click Done to return to the Time Item Settings pop-up window. Note that if you want to configure a timeline step for your own records, but don't want it to appear on the digital dashboard, you can select the Hidden checkbox. When you've made your final selections, click OK to add the configured timeline step. You'll see that the box now appears in green and publishes the start date and time you just selected. However, you'll also note that the timeline step does not appear in the timeline preview section. This is because you must configure at least three timeline steps before the My Cookie Season timeline element becomes active. Simply repeat the process we just described for all the desired steps in your timeline and you'll see them populate the timeline preview. To add a custom seventh step to your timeline, simply click on the gray Add Item button to open its Time Item Settings box. Be sure to name it by providing a Timeline Step property in addition to a start date. Click Done in the Calendar Picker and OK to save your changes. You will now see your custom timeline step in the Timeline Preview element. When you've finished making your edits, click Update Timeline and then confirm that your changes have been saved. Alternatively, you can click Cancel to end your editing session without saving your changes, or click Restore Default Timeline to reset the timeline steps to their default names with no start dates. Changing the data reporting widgets that appear on the dynamic dashboard is easy. By default, the Council dashboard publishes several important reporting widgets, which are displayed in the Data Preview area to the left. 
Additional widgets are available in the Data Items area to the right. For more information about how these reports can help you and your troops have a great cookie season, be sure to see the eBuddy Help Center articles linked to in the description of this video. To add a reporting widget to the Dynamic Dashboard, simply click on it in the Data Items area and drag it to the position where you'd like it to appear in the Data Preview area. Likewise, to remove a widget, simply drag it from the Data Preview area and drop it in the Data Items area. You can also drag and drop widgets in the Data Preview area to change their position on the dashboard. You'll notice three boxes at the bottom of the Data Preview area labeled Little Brownie Bakers. Please note that these items cannot be edited by your council. They provide helpful tips and information to your council and troops throughout the cookie season. When you've finished making your edits, click Update Data and then confirm that your changes have been saved. Click Cancel to end your editing session without saving your changes or click Restore Default Data to reset the reporting widgets to their default configuration. Remember, at any point in the cookie season, you can repeat the steps we just described to add or update helpful information that appears on the Dynamic Dashboard. Thanks for watching and have a great Girl Scout cookie season.